Um, Dr. Asante. Right. Thank you very much. Uh, good evening. I just want to say a shout out to uh, those individuals who are here from Bishop Don High School in uh, Dallas, where our son uh, is the director of counseling. He told us you would be here, and I'm so happy to see you. Um, a couple of things. First of all, this is a complex question. I mean, the purpose of school uh, is complex because, of course, the purposes given for schools have always changed. And in the 17th century, uh, when you had the development, for example, of Boston Land School, the purpose of school was to train young white men how to be leaders of the world. I mean, basically, that was the purpose of the educational system. And we've seen changes. I mean, it has changed over the years. So when you ask the question what the purpose of school is, you also have to you know, ask uh, whether or not that purpose uh, takes into consideration now that we have a, a heterogeneous uh, society, uh, which uh, has a, a, an enormous reach, uh, not only in the nation itself, but also globally. I mean, what should be the purpose of school may very well be the question that we should ask. Uh, and it seems to me that the purpose of school, at least one purpose, I don't know whether there is a, a purpose that is non-changing, unless that one purpose that perhaps should be non-changing might very well be that the purpose of school is inquiry. And that's it. I mean, fundamentally, it is not, for example, the transmission uh, of any ideological position. It's not necessarily even the transmission uh, of values. Sometimes we say, well, the purpose of schools is transmission of values. Well, uh, whose values, what values, do the values change, and so forth. The real value, if there is a value to be transmitted by school, it seems to me, would be the value of inquiry, because inquiry allows openness. And when you talk about school like that, then you can talk about uh, home schools. You can talk about the individuals who perhaps never go to an institution, but who also uh, are in school. Because the idea is to foster this notion of inquiry. Because we have a, a multicultural and heterogeneous society, then, of course, the other uh, aspect of this would have to be that uh, the notion of uh, knowledge ought to be developed in the sense uh, where we have a general understanding and appreciation that all cultures are contributors to knowledge. That uh, there is not a monocultural uh, perspective on knowledge uh, that is unchanging. That in fact there's, there are multicultural approaches to knowledge. And in our society, particularly in terms of schools, it seems to me that we might need to redress this whole question of the, the idea of a monocultural system where we sort of start with the Greeks and come straight down the line as if, you know, the information and the knowledge we got from the Greeks is the only knowledge in the world. I mean, we forget the Chinese, we get the, forget the Africans, forget the Indians, forget anybody else. It is basically uh, a, a Eurocentric approach to, to knowledge. And I think that that has really crippled our students, particularly in a global world. So I'm interested in the purpose of education uh, as inquiry, as openness, and openness to question. When we are set, just at the moment when we think we are set, that is the moment that we should inquire even more. <laughs>